Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Didi. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2018. Woo! Here is my first video of the year. It is my 2018 bullet journal setup slash January um set up as well so uh, i hope you guys will enjoy this i know it's something different besides me drawing or doing something artistically but i decided to do a bullet journal this year after watching hello eyeless's 2018 bullet journal setup and organization for artists and i love the way she set it up she included youtube she included um keeping track of videos and stuff and i wanted to create something similar just like hers so my setup is slightly a mixture of hers and a mixture of pipa's art uh on youtube she is another um, artist on YouTube that I really liked her setup as well while I was searching and doing research for this thing. Now, um, as you can see, I did a key, which is very important because I need to know what things are. And just in case anybody else looks in my journal and want to know what things mean and what things are in a journal. Then I decided to do a uh, 2018 in the middle, just like how Hello Alice did. But I decided that I wanted to do a mermaid because I love mermaids. They are my favorite. And I wanted to use my Fine Tech Metallic paint set that my boyfriend got for me for Christmas. And let me tell you, I love these metallics. They are so shiny. And you guys know, I love shiny things. So it is perfect. I love it. Now, if you don't know what a bullet journal is, a bullet journal is slightly like a planner, but, well, technically it is a planner, but it's everything that you put yourself, that you end up designing yourself, you put what you want in it, and you design what goes in it, what doesn't go in it, so it's yours to go crazy with. So what I'm doing now is I am doing a future log. Um, I'm not doing it the, what is it, horizontal? Horizontal, vertical. Uh, okay, I'm not doing it the horizontal way. I'm doing it the vertical way because while searching and doing information on um, bullet planners, I found this artist on YouTube called Papaya's Art. Uh, Pipa's art I think I don't know how to pronounce it I'll leave a link to her channel down below the same thing with hello Alice um, she said that it was much easier for her gave her more room and more space even though she used more pages than doing it the vertical way so um, I decided to give it a shot and I wanted to do it just like that so I basically am setting up the calendars with the months took me a while to do it but hey I got it done and I had little flags to mark each month and basically on the side I would put anything that's that important or like really good birthdays or an event that's going on that month it would go there <laughs> Okay, so now I'm setting up my 2002, uh, 2018 resolutions and um, bucket list and also my books, TV, and movies tracker just so I figure out what I want to watch or read 
this year and also too I put on my bucket list some things like where I want to go what I want to do my bucket list of course for me is to publish my comic but that's not gonna be done in a complete whole year but I have goals and trackers to help me get through and do a lot of designs for it now the next page I'm going to be doing is the remember page and that's basically when um, I write down very important dates to remember or things like um, that's for basically things like to like due dates for projects and stuff or for things like trials if I wanted to do a free trial of something and I needed to remember the exact date that my trial ends that way I don't have to you know pay out of pocket that's why I decided to mark down the remember page also too it could be for me to remember little things like oh remember to give back my friend her camera or remember to uh, take my sister somewhere things like that for the next page it's it's called my wolf because that's the name of my comic and I am basically setting up a completion and chart because I really need to get things done I really wanted to publish it last year but I was not able to do that and realizing that I still needed to do um, different character designs for different things I decided that this new year I am definitely going to try and complete it and going to be doing um, and marking down what I completed that way I could keep track of it now the next thing that you see me doing is I am coloring in the flags of the month for my YouTube subscriber tracker um, now this is me trying to see where my subscribers are each month um, right now I'm at 291 so maybe I can hit 300 by the end of this month and I'll be down for January but let's hope I'm hoping to get at least a thousand by the end of the year I know it's a long stretch to think that way but who knows you know you never know if I keep uploading like I'm supposed to then maybe more of you guys will come and like my stuff and want to keep watching so I'm hoping to do that the next thing I have is a money tracker so like for my income and ex expenses because I'm going to be a full-time nanny soon so I will be needing to track my income along with tracking what I spend on and I usually spend money mostly on art supplies like you guys know because I am obsessed with Michaels and I'm obsessed with buying new art supplies and trying out new things you know that's what I am I am although I consider myself as an illustrator I am a mixed media artist because I um basically use so much different materials and I use a lot of different materials together like right now I am using the Jane Davenport um, incredible inks and oh my god I love these inks I am so in love I got three of them for Christmas from one of my friends and then I bought another one which was called mermaid tail and I am in love the hibiscus one not hibiscus the hydrangeas one is another one of my favorite because it smells so freaking good it smells just like the flower and I love it and um then I also used my Windsor Newton drawing inks for some of the colors as well. So, um, because I only had four colors of the Jane Davenport inks. So now, as you can see, I am working on a videos page. Now, uh, as I am cutting out some uh, cardstock. I, I don't even know what they're called. I think they're just called cardstock papers that you buy in packs in... My, Michael's uh, I believe I shared the pack in one of my videos and I basically I cut it out and used it as a border for my things like my money tracker and my YouTube subscribers tracker now I went back as you can see here back to my money tracker because I decided that I wanted to keep the mermaid theme going so I wanted to draw some mermaids in some free space areas now this one um, 
I colored with the Jane Davenport inks. I used Mermaid Tail for her mermaid tail, of course. And then I used the hydrangeas for her hair. And I used a little bit of the watermelon for her shoulders and her blush. Now I'm using my Fine Tech uh, Metallics for the other mermaid, as you can see here. Now these are not very detailed mermaids, but I like how they came out and um, I think they came out really nice. I used the inks and the watercolors for both of these and I'm just I'm just in love with these watercolors. I want to keep using them so uh, look out for that because I might keep using them because they're so good especially with the Jane Davenport inks. Oh, oh my god they are incredible. Now um, I love mermaids ever since the Little Mermaid as from Ariel since I was a little girl so um, my, I consider my uh, friend she loves unicorns so she is my unicorn best friend to the my me being the mermaid because I'm the mermaid she's the unicorn and mermaids and unicorns are best friends I don't care what nobody says that's what they are because they both love shiny things okay getting back on track now I am working on my January monthly view and um, this one I also was it from her I'm not sure I think I also used the same setup as um, Pape's way I think her name is Pape I can't pronounce it oh yeah, I use the same one, uh, the same layout as a uh, Piper's art channel because I really love the art. Um, I love the way that she did the monthly goals chart, and I love the way she set up the monthly view. So I decided to do just like her. Now, uh, what I added on the sides, I added some um, stickers, like planning stickers, because my mom is a big planner girl. So she gives me whatever her leftovers and I decided to decorate it. Though granted, I know January is not Christmas and I shouldn't have the Christmas tree up. But a lot of Spanish people do not take down their Christmas tree until after Three Kings Day. Which usually is, like, I believe, the 7th or the 6th of January. So it made sense for me to keep the Christmas tree there. Okay, so now you can see that I am working on my weekly spread. And I also... Um, took the idea from Pipa's arts as well. Like I love the way she did her setup. Um, so I did it similar to that. I did the uh, weekly events in case stuff happens or in case I have appointments that day or in case I need to really remember something that I'm doing that day. So I had that there. Um, now I am doing... Wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I went back and I decided to do a habit tracker and a mood tracker. I did this on the back of the monthly view, I believe. Yeah, I did this on the back of the monthly view. And um, I just wanted to do a monthly tracker and... A habit tracker and then I wanted to do to decorate the month when I begin the weekly spread so I cut out some more shiny paper and I love this quote where it's called wild child and I've been looking for a spot to put this everywhere since I cut it out so I thought this would be perfect and I think for the whole theme of my bullet journal I'm going to have something similar for each month so um, then I added a little mermaid to my monthly goals because you know I have to have a mermaid somewhere because it is mermaid theme. And well that's mostly it and here is a flip through of my um, journal all together in its completed form at least for now until I do my February set up set up so look forward to that I am going to try to do it monthly so you guys can you know keep track with me on it if you want to or whatever uh, anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it or not let me know if you do bullet journals or do you do planning like what do you do to keep track of everything 
Anyways, I hope to see you guys again in another video soon. So, have a good day. And as always, guys, let that artistic flow. Bye. Thank you.